Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Gaming Lutzal, and in today's video I will be discussing about why I've lately just haven't been playing much of Warzone, and to be honest this has been going on for quite a while now, and not only am I going to be giving reasons to why I just haven't been having fun with Warzone these past few weeks, but I'm also going to be talking about issues that the mode has been facing overall. So if you guys think you might be interested in me talking about this topic, go ahead and sit back and relax and I hope you guys enjoy today's commentary. Also if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already already and click that bell icon as well so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Anyways, if you guys have been watching me for quite a while now, one thing you might have noticed is that I usually don't post any gameplays of Warzone here on the channel. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even remember if I've ever even posted any Warzone gameplay overall, which to many of you might seem like it's stupid of me not to do that since Warzone is still doing better than Cold War as far as views and interests go, but I've honestly just never been a battle royale type of guy. You know what I mean? Like. Maybe it could be because I suck at the game, but I just don't see the appeal of spawning into the map, looting for minutes, having to play like a camper, and then getting taken out by an enemy who is also playing like a camper, and all of that just happens just for the cycle to start all over again. But then again, that could be just me because, like I said, there is still a lot of interest in Warzone. Many of my friends still play Warzone till this day and barely even touch Cold War overall. And to be honest, there's so much more interest in Warzone versus Cold War to the point where compared Comparing those two games and their interest levels, yeah, it just makes Cold War look like an absolute joke. But regardless of if I enjoy Battle Royale or not, I do still jump into the mode occasionally and I can definitely see why there is such a huge appeal for it. However, there have been a lot of people who lately just haven't been enjoying the mode either and this is simply due to all of the glitches, bugs, and hackers that the game has been running into. So first I want to go ahead and talk about the hackers or the cheaters, whatever you want to call them. Now this issue isn't anything new. Cheaters and hackers have been existing within Warzone for a long time now, even before Cold War was released or announced. And it's surprising to me how a huge company such as Activision who makes billions, not millions, but billions of dollars every year, and they still can't even create a proper anti-cheat system. I mean, I do have to give them credit for some things because they've handled certain cheaters and hackers better now than they have before, but there are still a lot of them out there that exist, even till this day, who are either doing things like wall hacking, or aimbotting or whatever it is that allows them to get the advantage over their opponents. And to me, that's extremely frustrating. To know that you did everything you could to make it to the final circle towards the end of the match only to be taken out by a hacker who aimbotted you or did some other ridiculous thing like, I don't know, glitch underneath the map or something like that, right? Like, of course that's not going to happen all of the time, but knowing that there is a possibility of that happening, it just turns me off from wanting to play the game or like I said, just play Warzone or Battle Royale in general. And once again, Infinity Ward or Raven Software, whoever it is that pretty much has the lead on Warzone as of right now or before, they've done a pretty good job of moving in the right direction in terms of dealing with these hackers, but just knowing that they still exist and that there's a good chance that I can run into them, yeah, like I said, it just kind of ruins the purpose of wanting to play Battle Royale. But honestly, it still wasn't enough to get me to stop playing the mode altogether. But eventually that did change, because before Cold War came out and the integration took place of the Cold War weapons within Warzone, I still, like I said, occasionally played the mode. But once that progression kicked in, once the Cold War weapons made its way into Warzone, that's where I feel like, in my personal opinion, things went downhill even more. Because once that integration happened, the mode just ran into so many more glitches, bugs, and weapons that pretty much took over all of the other weapons, aka the DMR, MAC-10, and the Diamati pistol. But we saw glitches and bugs such as the invisibility bug where your operator could literally turn invisible and I'm not even choking you guys. There were many moments that were captured by many different players where they're literally getting shot at by someone, but they can't even see where that opponent is, even if that opponent is standing right in front of them, point blank. Another issue that Warzone is also currently facing are the attachments for the Cold War weapons. Apparently, the attachments for those weapons don't do anything that they say they do, or even perform the complete opposite way to what they're supposed to do to begin with. We also had the Stimshot glitch, where players would have the ability to have unlimited tactical equipment and what that would do is also allow the players to constantly stim themselves back to full health, which means that they could essentially survive outside within the storm. So for example, let's say the circle would be closing on somewhere like the Gulag, but then there's a player who's all the way in like quarry that's using this stim shot glitch to constantly go back to full health and essentially surviving even after the storm closes in, which could technically even give them the win if the last person besides them doesn't even know about this glitch. You know what I mean? Like, it just seems very, very ridiculous. 
ridiculous, but they did go ahead and patch this glitch up recently and also made a fix to the DMR in a recent update, which basically gave this weapon a nerf. And hopefully this will encourage other players to try out other weapons. But in the end, there are still so many issues that the mode is currently facing. And I'm not really sure which bugs and glitches that they've already made fixes for or that they're addressing. And that's another thing too, right? I feel like that when it comes down to communication, they're not really talking about Warzone as much with the community and letting people know like, hey, we're aware of this issue or we're going to be rolling out a fix that, you know, addresses this bug or anything like that of the sort. But then again, that could be because they're probably working on a huge patch for this mode overall, or they could just be busy trying to get the new map ready for the Warzone mode that will be coming out maybe later on this year. And I don't know, it just seems like they're kind of all over the place right now and there's no communication because of it. And many big YouTubers that are within the Call of Duty community, such as Prestigious Key and Exclusive Ace, have also been talking about how there's so many issues with Warzone and that it really needs a lot of fixing, which I wholeheartedly agree with them. And I think there was this one thing that Prestige is Key said that stood out to me a lot in his video. And that is instead of trying to focus about getting new content into the game, we should really be putting the focus into trying to see if we can fix whatever is already in the game that's broken. Because let's just say that even if they do bring this brand new map in, yeah, we're going to get hyped and we're going to love it and all that kind of stuff. But what's the point if we're going to be facing all of these bugs and glitches and issues that we're facing right now and possibly even more issues later down the road when this new map comes out like you never know right so we really should be focusing on trying to fix what's broken in warzone right now versus you know rushing to bring new content out even though there's a demand for new content and i guess that is also one of the main issues here right i feel like that when it comes down to activision they honestly just want so much to happen within their games but there's just too many things to focus on like this company wants to release a new call of duty title every single year they also want to maintain warzone and they want to integrate these new games into warzone so that it can drive the sales for these new games and they expect their developers to also work on their next games while taking care of their current ones like you guys see what i'm trying to say there's just so much happening at once and the thing is a lot of people say things like oh it baffles me how a company this big generates so much revenue throughout the year and they're not even able to like you know fix most of these issues and these bugs and these glitches and you know the thing is at the end of the day we're not really you know the developer we don't know what they go through and this is not me defending them but it is also a fact we don't know what's going on behind the scenes i mean the closest thing that i know in terms of being a developer is knowing how to code using various coding languages and through that experience i know how hard it is to make changes to those lines of codes without messing up something along the way so i do have some sympathy for them when it comes to that but like i said i just feel like that everyone's being rushed to try to deliver so much to the player base but that's not something like i said we should be focusing on right now because it's degrading the quality and the overall fun that the player is now having nowadays with this mode versus before this whole cold war integration happened right so i think that has to do a lot with what we're seeing that's happening in warzone right now activision is just trying to do so much and not have enough time to do it which this actually leads me into a topic that i will be covering in a video later on this week where i'll be talking about why activision should consider to stop releasing a call of duty title every single year and maybe release a new title every two years or perhaps three years instead but once again that will be a topic for a whole different video but to be honest you guys thank goodness that plunder exists because i feel like that when it comes down to this mode it's just so underrated and it allows people like myself who want to experience warzone but they don't necessarily have to get into the battle royale genre and if it wasn't for this mode i probably wouldn't even touch warzone as much as i do now from time to time i don't know i just felt like giving a quick recognition to plunder because i feel like it doesn't get as much love as it should and the best part about plunder is since people don't take it as seriously as regular battle royale there's barely any hackers in this mode compared to your traditional br modes which i mean that's at least what i've experienced but who knows there could be a lot of issues in hackers and plunder as well but i'm not going to go into that anyways i'm going to go ahead and end the video here you guys let me know in the comment section below if you've been playing a lot of warzone lately despite all of the issues that have been going on if you have have you been enjoying it is your experience going well or are you like me who have also taken a break from the mode and just can't really deal with many of the issues that are going on i would love to hear all of your thoughts in the comment section below once again if you want to go ahead and share them also make sure you guys drop a like on today's video if you enjoyed the commentary follow me on my other social media platforms such as twitter and twitch i would really appreciate your support with all that and with that said i will go ahead and catch you all in the next video take care of yourselves stay safe and bye